Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Galaxy Tab 3 10.1. Uh, it's a fairly simple setup, uh, so just to go over a couple things with you. Uh, of course, you pick your language first. If uh, you are uh, visually impaired or hearing impaired, you do want to go to accessibility because uh, Google does make some settings to make this easier for you. So first we're going to go next and uh, then the first thing it tells you is to log on to a Wi-Fi. Always when starting the tablet for the first time you do want to have a good dependable Wi-Fi to log into. So I'm going to log into mine right over here. And log into that. and then connect. And once it's connected, then go next. Let me zoom in a little bit more for you guys. All right, and then uh, for your time zone, choose your region, uh, which mine is Pacific, so I'm gonna go right there. And then it will automatically set to the correct time because you are connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, from here, um, click. you have to agree to the terms and conditions, of course, or else you can't really start the device. And uh, I always would recommend uh, the error log being sent just because this uh, makes your tablet uh, run better in the end because you get more updates to fix any known bugs. Once you hit next, you would want to sign into your Samsung uh, account. I will skip this for this uh, setup, but basically, the reason you want to do this is because um, you can find your device if you go online and set up your uh, device uh, setup. You also can uh, back up your personal data, um, Samsung apps, and uh, remote access your computer from home. So that is all with the Samsung account, as well as uh, save your wallpaper and background. Then from there, you go to Google to back uh, to restore your account. And when on there, you just sign into your Gmail account. And how you do that is just by simply signing in. So mine is, of course, ask the Android guy. And then you can just go uh, next from there because once you actually hit the, to the next tab, uh, you will see that the Gmail will populate automatically. So as soon as I hit password, Gmail automatically populates. And then you just type in your password, which I will now do off screen. And then going to go next. And oops, I accidentally hit back because I was having a portrait. So let me do that again. Okay, that's actually bad to hold in portrait. Oh, finding something else interesting about this tablet. It's not the best to hold in portrait unless you can disable those buttons, which I have heard you can. So I shall do that as soon as I can, actually. And now I'm going to type in the correct email address. And it is signing in now. And then uh, you do want to sign in your credit card if you haven't before. If you don't feel comfortable with it, you can get Play Store uh, gift cards at most national retails uh, to buy apps, but that is how uh, you buy any of the paid for apps. And you want to restore your tablet so that it mimics uh, your previous tablets you have used before. Um, I don't have anything under this counter, or else it would have taken longer to restore. And then you always want your accounts to locate on GPS and Wi Fi. And then you go to the next screen. The nice thing about uh, Samsung tablets is you do always have a uh, Dropbox available, which gives you 50 gigs of free storage uh, for two years. Uh, after the two years, you would have to pay for it, unless you just get another Samsung device, of course. Then you have that covered. All right, uh, I'm going to skip that though for now because I have done that before. Don't need it on this device. And from here, you set up the uh, voice controls. 
uh, smart stay and adapt display. If you don't know what these do, you can simply tap on it and it will walk you through it exactly. I'm going to hit next and then you can name the device whatever you want to. I'll just leave it at that for now. And then you have your device. So you can uh, use it as you see fit and there's lots to do with this tablet. Uh, let me know what you guys want to see specifically uh, so I can make the videos that you guys want. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.